Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I am showing you how to replicate the green screen effect from Halo 4 uh, into Halo 2 Anniversary because as you may know we don't have a green screen in, as part of the Forge palette in Halo 2 Anniversary. And as you can see in this little demo it actually looks pretty good and uh, excuse the terrible camera work my controller is uh, kind of busted the left thumbstick is not functioning right which you know explains this crappy camera work right here. Anyway, uh, doing this is actually pretty easy. It won't take too much of your forge budget. So uh, yeah, let's get right to it. First off, you want to start a game on a wash, and it can actually be any canvas. I'm just doing it on a wash. I'll lay down this uh, little platform where your uh, players will be standing, or your body actors, I suppose. And uh, you want to put another block behind this little white screen, and uh, I'll explain later on why that is needed. But for the actual white screen piece, I used the glass windows. I used quite a lot of them to make this, this massive screen over here. And uh, you'll be able to find these underneath um, gadgets. And then go to map gadgets and you'll see glass window right there. Now to align them all together and make this really big screen, you'll have to use edit coordinates because uh, magnets do not work well. Or actually, no, they don't work at all. There are no magnets with this piece. So yeah, you'll make sure that you use um, edit coordinates. Now I said this block had a purpose, and I'm going to show you now. Because if this block uh, behind the glass windows aren't there, or isn't there, you'll see these reflections in the glass windows, and it breaks up the whole white screen effect. So yeah, that's bad. Which is why you'll need this block behind it, and you'll basically want to push it into the glass windows to where uh, it's just, I guess, one unit or maybe half a unit behind them. That way, uh, you know, it will be uh, canceling out that reflection. Now it's a pure white screen. So yeah, it's not a complete green screen because uh, there's no way to actually replicate it and this is the best that we can have right now. So yeah, it still works pretty well, so I'm just going to show you how you do it in the editing in your computer. Alright, I'm currently using Sony Vegas, but you can use whichever procedure you're familiar with. But uh, for Sony Vegas users, you'll want to make sure that the uh, the video file of the white screen is on top of the video you want as a background. And then you want to go to Media Effects and look for Sony, Cr Sony Chroma Keyer. And uh, once you get that, press OK and make sure you change it from blue to white. And once you've done that, your Spartan, or well, not Spartan, but your white screen effect should be working pretty fine already. But uh, there are some setbacks to like using this method because uh, it's not a legit green screen, just a makeshift green screen using the glass windows. And uh, because it's white, it's not really the ideal color. And uh, the setback is that if your Spartan is moving around, uh, it'll, it'll leave a trail of white and it's just going to pretty much ruin the, ruin the entire effect. And uh, this will only appear or, you know, be obvious if the background video is dark. But if your background video is a little lighter, uh, you get, I guess you can have your Spartan moving around because the white trail wouldn't be too obvious. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful in any way. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.